The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problems. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome, everybody, to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, episode 635 of your favorite podcast. Uh, it's I'm a- here. Sam Damaris and Rob Mungle. It's the original yeah. four three whiskey brothers. Uh, so here's what happened. Uh, how how did this occur? We're, so we're, it's it's a Thursday. It's not a normal night to tape. Uh, we we went and we did a radio interview on ESPN Sports Radio. Then Slade it was more was of a takeover. Yeah, yeah, it was it's it's kind of a, a, a usurping of. <laughs> then Slade went to go do another podcast uh, that involved a bottle of Jameson. And uh, oh, would you like to tell them what happened after that podcast? <laughs> I might as well. Uh, so, I <laughs> this is so good. Uh, I did the Staying the Course podcast with Pat Thomas, and he was as as I was walking out, he was grumbling slightly loudly mm. about the fact that his apartment smelled like weed. Right, and I went, "Well, we've been here for the last hour plus." No one smoked weed. Yeah. Why is this the case? Right. And he goes, oh, my upstairs neighbors. He goes, they, every time it's like they get home from work, they smoke pot. It comes yeah. through the vents. Right. My girlfriend, her kid, the the life, the this. And I go, oh, someone should say something. He goes, maybe. He goes, but I just don't. And I go, no, <laughs> hold my phone. I will be the man. So I go upstairs and I just knock on the door. And it tell you nobody the first time. And I knock again. Uh-huh. And I can see the the eye go in yeah. front of the, you know, you can yeah, tell. Yeah. It gets dark for a minute. It gets light. Yeah. It gets dark. It gets light. I go, ah, oh, he's here. And I wait till it to get dark. And then I knock again. So he jumps. It turns white, like, quickly. Uh, we do this for a minute. And I go, hey, just open the door. I'm not a cop. And then he uh, opens the door. Because that's what a cop would say. Yeah. yeah. They do. I I know how they come. Uh yeah. He opens the door. I'll let that one lie there. And as yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> as soon as the door opens, I look inside, and I just see there's a Buddhist painting over the fireplace. There's two Buddha dolls right. on the on the hearth. So when the it's door a man. and then I see, I look down and I realize there are four pairs of shoes hmm. set by the door. So as soon as it opens, I take all of this in. I go, so you want me to take my shoes off? And he goes, what do you mean? I go, I'm coming in. And I just take my shoes. off. <laughs> Oh Jesus! And he goes, "Walk well, in this motherfucker's house." He goes, "What are you doing?" I go, nah, 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 nah. "It's about the weed." And he goes, "There's no weed." I go, "Look, man, I'm not a cop. Uh, I told you that before you open the door. You open the door. Clearly, you trust me, kinda." I took my shoes off. Mm-hmm. Does, does a cop take his shoes off? <laughs> if you ask a cop to take his shoes off, he has to say no. It's yeah. just like when they, if you go, "Are you a, are you a cop?" They have to. Or say a no. vampire too. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Mm-hmm. So he lets me in reluctantly, and then I go, "Just, just hey." Just whatever it is you're smoking, give it to me, and then I'll go tell the guys downstairs that you're cool. And he was like, <laughs> "Is that how this works?" And I, he's, I, uh, yeah. And he just he hands it, to, and we just smoke for a minute. Uh-huh. I go, "Here, man, go ahead and." Uh, I go, "You can ha- you can have the rest of this." And he goes, "No, no, no, take it." And I go, "You just go." Let- uh- He's like, yeah, as long as you're leaving. I was like, cool. I got a whole free joint out of the deal. <laughs> and then he walks back back downstairs past his buddy's house and just goes, yeah, you won't have a problem out of him anymore. Let joint in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, to yeah. the car and leave. Which did happen. Uh, uh, which, uh, it's how I work. Well, good for you. You're helping your neighbors. I'm, I'm trying to do God's sh- work. Yeah, he was helping yeah. someone else. Mr. fucking okay. Rogers here. That's little, what's going on. A little selfish. Nah, he did the Lord's work. God bless. I'm so then, drink. then Slade has a show. Cheers. Um, we, we 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 go watch Slade's show, yeah. and uh, I was at the Improv tonight. Yeah, yeah, and in a hat was, for the first time yeah. in my adult life. <laughs> I've never won the second time I've ever worn a hat on stage. Oh, I almost yanked that bitch off your head when you were walking up, no. but I was like, hey, he probably has a reason. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, I haven't been home. <laughs> it was I was high and drunk, and I had to go talk. Oh yeah, and it's really their fault. You can't tell me. <laughs> you can't tell me this I'm doing. This is your fault. This is your fault. You going on here? Hang on. You can't tell me I'm doing 15 minutes mm-hmm. in in the middle of the show when I, all I do is text. I go, hey, I've got a thing to do beforehand. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hosting the show, right? And I get back at nah. You're just doing 15 minutes during yeah. the show, and then I show up and I find out I'm <laughs> having to do almost a half hour and close the show. Ugh. So 
Good time. You you did the Lord's work. Look at no, you. I did. You're helping your neighbors. No You're helping other people's neighbors. But while he's blasted out of his mind, he gets off stage, he gets his gets his money, and was like, "Let's go record." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That'd be great. And me and Rob both look at each other and go, well, "Fuck no!" And then a light bulb goes off my head, and I go, "There is free booze there." Mm. And lo That's and behold, true. hi everybody, welcome to episode six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> 35. We've been doing this for a long time. We have. Yes, we have. We, we were doing it when Fergie was still popular. Yeah. Because I got. Oh, one, you'd still smash it, Sam. Come on. Well, no. I, I, Come it's, on. it's not about that. It's, I'm saying when she was still popular. One of our first episodes yeah. was at the Super Bowl. Oh, when that's she was right. on stage with Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No one would dare yeah. put that bitch on TV now. Yeah, they do. She's the host of the fucking four. That piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Who watches knock, that? Yeah, that knockoff. The Amer- four. Oh, knockoff American Idol. Bullshit. What are you talking American about? American Idol, yeah. the voice, the fucking America's got it's another stupid singing show. Yeah. Who's on it? Fergie. Fergie. Fergie's cool, man. <laughs> you met her. Yeah. 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 She don't look like she's looking in videos, does she? In the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how detail am I allowed to go into? Uh, <laughs> would you have hit it? Look, oh, would I? Uh, let's talk about something different. Did you okay. hit Fergie? Let, no, just move along. He didn't. Of course not. Yeah, I was going to say. Come on. I, you if might, I had Ferdy, you'd be seeing on the Goodyear blimp. You might you not would. have known, but I would have known. You yeah. would You <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Boy, you were just in your own little playland. Over oh, there. you don't even know. Uh, no, I, I kind of do. <laughs> I kind of do. So just, all right. So we'll just talk. Uh, and Sam can there. Slade can sit there and, and play in, uh, in the quantum realm. <laughs> Rob and I went to go see Ant-Man and Wasp today. Well, this comes out a month much after late. it came yeah. out. You guys finally yeah, got around to it. Yeah, we finally got around to it. Wow. Yeah. What an ending. That was fantastic. Uh, did I tell you all on the podcast about what I did to a telemarketer? No, but I heard this, and it's fucking good. You should. We, I'll uh, tell you what I did to mine, too. Go ahead. You remember when we all went to go see Infinity War right afterwards? Uh-huh. Uh, we, right. Opening weekend, we saw it. Yeah. There's this Canadian pharmacy that keeps calling my fucking phone. Trying to sell me <laughs> discount medications. And, hey, man, you want to buy some Cialis Viagra? And I'm like, first of all, I'm mad you think my dick don't work. Yep. Uh, second of all, no, I've never bought a fucking thing for you guys. I don't know how you got my number. Please take me off your call list. Mm-hmm. They still call constantly. And it's that, that bullshit where they make it look like your yeah. number. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they call. And so I get a call from this dude named Scott. Uh, which Hello, I am Scott. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hello, I am Scott. Scott, very Scott. My this na- is I am the Scottish Scott that you have ever my, met. <laughs> my name is Scott. No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> but yes, he, I am from Scotland. You yeah. do not know. Okay, but we're making fun of him. He actually sounds like an American, right? He, 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 because he has been practicing. So, Scott, hey, man, look, I, I have tried everything with your company. I have cussed you all out. I, I, I have called the Better Business Bureau. Uh, 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 I've talked bad about your mamas. Um <laughs> Please just go on the computer. All you gotta do is find my number and just hit backspace a bunch of times, yeah, right. and that's it. That's all we gotta do, Scott. And he was like, "It sounds I'm like dut, 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 dut. And He's like, "I'm so sorry, man. I, we won't bother you anymore." Blah, blah. That's a no. About three thirty, I get a call from another one of these numbers. I pick up. Not only is a Canadian pharmacy, it's fucking Scott. Oh no way! Calling me two, twice in a day, and I was like, Scott. We had it. <laughs> we had a fucking deal, Scott. <laughs> you lied to me, Scott. Social contract, he, Scott. He, uh, 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 hello, who is this? Have I have I spoken to you? Yes, you spoke to me earlier today, Scott. You said you were gonna take. And then he. Oh looked, my then he goes, god. Then he he just looked, man. I'm I'm on a dialer. I don't I don't have <laughs> the authority to go in and just take out numbers. Whatever. Mm. Just levels with me about it. And he's like, I hate this job. So quit. <laughs> I'm like, so fucking quit. I was like, literally, hang on the phone with me and quit. He's like, well, I mean, it is a job and this, that, and the other. Scott, what would you rather be doing right now? What would well, you ra- listen. What, what, what would you rather be doing? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd love to go out and spend the rest of my day. But, but, hey, man, uh, 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 you know what? You should go to the movies. Have you seen Avengers Infinity War yet? <laughs> no, I have not. Here's what happens. <laughs> Oh. So you started spoiling the film for God, why have I Bruh. not thought of this? Start to finish. I uh, think 
I think I made it to like hour one and fifteen minutes before he finally hung up the phone. I was uh, like, I was like, quit your job, Scott. This gets much worse. <laughs> this gets much worse. Oh. Quit your job, Scott. I was like, I go, I go to see Deadpool two next weekend. Fucking call me again. Oh I dare my you. god. I dare you. Wait till we get to the sequel of what I did to your mom last night, well, Scott. That, <laughs> that's the thing. We went and saw Ant Man and Wasp today. Tomorrow when I wake up, <laughs> ringer on high. Ringer on high, and I have an app in my phone where I can record these assholes now. <laughs> and and I'm going to start recording them. And as a service to all the Whiskey Brothers fans, I will wait two months after a movie uh, uh, debuts, and then I will play these calls for you of me spoiling movies for these assholes. <laughs> <laughs> because if I play it, if I play it tomorrow, yeah, spoil, yeah, spoil. I'm going to spoil it for you too. I don't yeah. want to do that. So if you're listening to this, you have 60 days to go see Eight Man and One. <laughs> You have 60 fucking uh, days. <laughs> see, you're much better than me. I just, uh, they'll get on their phone and, and they'll say, you'll get the recording first. And if you want to talk to somebody, press the button. So I always press the button. And uh, they come on. They go, oh, did you call us about uh, your student loan debt? So, well, I don't have no, st- I have no student loans. Right. And you called me. And I just want to tell you, am I being recorded? And they say, yes. Well, it's recorded. Yeah, okay. I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill what you love. Tell me <laughs> what you love, and I'm going to fucking kill it if you do this again. And they're like, oh, sir. We, uh, yeah. They're like, you should call the cops. I would call the cops if I were you, because I'll find you, and I'll kill what you fucking love. Call the fucking cops now, because I want to know everything about you when we fucking fill out this police report. <laughs> get, get a restraining order against me so you can't call me anymore, asshole. So get this. I worked as a bill collector. <laughs> That's definitely two different approaches. <laughs> I, I, I worked as a bill collector. Let me tell you about months, Infinity right? War. <laughs> and, and as a bill collector, there's a there's a there's a law, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Yeah. They have to follow the things that they can and cannot do. They assume you don't know the law. Yeah. Um dude, say the letters F D C P A on any collections call, they won't. What hang is that? Up. What is that? Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Ah. F D C P A. They will hang up the phone because they know you know your rights. Like when they call you and they go, Hey man, you've got this outstanding debt. We just want to get this resolved before my client takes any further action. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. They cannot threaten a lawsuit and they can't even allude to it. It's illegal. Yeah. And so you I, will, I, I got the, the NAACP and I, I'm going to call them on you. I let you them go them through down. that whole spiel and I was like, So, uh, I'm sitting here with a copy of the FDCPA. I see that you violated it about three times uh, over the course of this phone call. Uh, you told me Bank of America is going to sue me. They don't. Uh, they, they just don't, especially not over debt this fucking small. Um, you I also just want to say this, for the blah, record blah, blah. that Panko, pa, ba, ba, uh, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> Banco Popular doesn't sue nobody. At the beginning of this call, you said that uh, you, you did not tell me this call was an intent to collect a debt and any information will be used for that purpose. That is by law. You have to do that. When you start hitting them with that shit, you can just hear the sweat dripping from the other end of the phone. Uh, it is so much fun. Just fuck with them. Good times. And here's the other thing. that, that, that you, I, I'm talking to the camera because some of you are watching this live. Uh, the <laughs> <Not> other <anymore. laughs> thing. No, they're still here. No, the other. Really? Th- Weird. The other thing that you need to know about bill collectors is bill collectors exclusively. They work. On commission. Of course. Collecting that debt, they get a cut of whatever they collect. And because of that, there is zero money in hanging up the phone. Ah, yeah. So do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Whatever bothers you about your fucking day that much. Dude, <laughs> call, them, call them a fucking N word. Do, do oh, whatever geez. the that's, fuck that's you That's harsh want. advice, Sam. Oh. Bro, do whatever you want. Have fun. Fucking tell them you're jacking off at the sound of their voice. They they can't hang up. Hey, you called me. Yeah, they they they. they I will, get a hard on when to get a phone call. They will not hang up. There's nothing. Fart into the fucking receiver. <laughs> just, just there's nothing. They, they, there's no money. There's no money in hanging up the phone. We're gonna take a quick break. I don't want you guys to hang up the phone. If you're watching the live stream, uh, or if you were watching the live stream, you saw whatever happened between now and then. Uh, we are your Whiskey Brothers, your core three, Slade, Rob, Sam. We're missing Dale Cheeseman. We're missing Trey Tutson. But we love you guys. We're coming right back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back. Episode 635, your Whiskey Brothers, your core three, uh, Rob Mungle, Sam yeah. Damaris, Slade Ham. Boo, Sam guy sucks. I know. <laughs> we keep him around. Oh, well. He does a good work. So, Sam, how's L.A., Sam? That's, that's <laughs> part, it's, it's part of my problem. 
Um, uh oh. Uh oh. See what I did there? I've, I've had this thing. It. I've had this thing lately where uh, I kind of want to kill a cyclist. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like not want my car either. Like uni like, or bye. <laughs> Bye, 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 okay. bye. Cyclist. Now I don't live in Portland. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> or Austin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't get me wrong. I really want to kill one of those. You know I mean, a I'm, unicyclist would be like, dude. Ooh, that's double. Because they're probably wearing cut off shorts. They're a yeah. dude. They just got iced yeah. coffee. But you I'm, know how I, this works. Oh yeah. And see, that's the thing. When I say that, people are like, you want to run one of them over with your car? Like, I want to do that all the time. But I know that is like, share the road, whatever. But just. Because I have the anger from when I'm in my car, like right when you said unicyclists, like I just imagine them pedaling along with their fucking Starbucks in one hand <laughs> and just lobbing a brick, like not even, <laughs> not even, not even chucking it down. I'll just, you to that, Sam. just the fucking layup and watching them run right into it, and then that you hear that head hit the I'm, back of the head like a bowling ball. The thunk. I'm gonna concrete. be honest. If I ever in my car pass the unicyclist. With a hula hoop. Uh. There's a guy in Portland, Oregon. He has two basketballs, and he dribbles them in a cycle. <laughs> You're allowed cycle. to open your passenger door with your leg. Yeah. You know what, though? Hang on. Uh, props to that dude. He uses the fucking sidewalk. Yeah, props to that dude. That dude is props. Um, that is the most yeah. bullshit creativity. But he, he uses the sidewalk. He actually if they use the, the sidewalk, thing. I have no problem. These assholes on the road. Uh, look, I'm cool with the gay rollerblader and the Montrose. He yeah. made AGT two years ago. Yeah. I love that dude. He's he is adorable you. at the at, at Allen Parkway. Yeah. And in Montrose. That guy is my saving grace on a hot summer day stuck at a stoplight. Fuck him. He dances his Fuck him. He's in the road. Unfuck him. He you, dances dude, on the him. sidewalk. I, I I I have this dream where like I walk out of a store after buying a pack of smokes, and I see one coming up <laughs> in the right lane, and I just run out, and he doesn't see me coming, and it's just a WWE clothesline, just take him off his fucking bike. And I said kill him, but like just take him off, and then when he falls, he goes, what's your problem? Just get on top of him and just start Stone Cold Steve Austin punching him, just Man. bam, bam. Like, I just... I'm I'm so People sick of it. People say me, I'm the asshole in this fucking show. I'm the mean guy. Look at this no. motherfucker. Pay for insurance. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pay for insurance. Stop for red lights. I'll stop hating you. So you haven't really thought this through. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. You sound prepped the way some people are prepped for the civil war that didn't happen on the fourth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is coming out in August, right? We're in August. Yes. We're, how you liking our Texans, huh? Yeah, football season's right around the corner. Shut up. I this don't is, watch football anymore yeah. because they're disrespectful to the American flag. Oh, suck a dick. Yeah, you do. Oh, God. Yeah, you do. By the way, did, did, did any of y'all see the tweet that like I tweeted at the NFL and at Roger Goodell? Uh -uh. <laughs> I tweeted at NFL, at NFL Commish, and I said, I would watch this season and I would have more respect for all of you if you just had the balls to call the hashtag national anthem policy. The nigger know your place rule. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you call Ouch. it what the fuck it is, yeah. you call it what the fuck it is, I'm in. But here's the thing. Sam, it, you it, just it, have to know how to protest properly, Sam. No, no, no. no. Here's, Come on. Here's, here's the funniest thing about you it. throw is, tea is, in a river dressed as an engine. Is the NFL <laughs> should be terrified because they came out, they said, here's our new national anthem policy. You haven't heard one word from any black player. Yeah. Which means opening day of the NFL yeah. season Blunk. is going to be fucking amazing. Because <laughs> the, there's no way that they wouldn't just pop up and go, hey, man, at least somebody go, hey, this is bullshit. Mm -hmm. And here's, here's what pissed me off. What, not pissed me off, but what I thought would have been amazing. The day they put out the new policy, we're going to find you if you kneel. Yeah. That was game one of the NBA Finals. Yeah. The Warriors and Cavs should have both yeah. come out to center yeah. court and been like, Plunk. fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't happen, but, you know. But the fact that you have not heard one word I'm just word biding my time players, to the XFL. That's what they're going to have. It's coming are, back, Rob. Yeah, they're going to have you people, excited? Yeah, go LA Extreme. Excited Hell new. Yeah. yeah. He hate me. He hate yeah. me, dog. Kickoffs from the trebuchet. Yeah. <laughs> and no fair catch rule. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the mo look. Football is supposed to be civilized. What? I uh, shut up. Okay. I know it sounds counterintuitive, uh -huh. but there there are there is there an are underlying rules. uh yeah, a, a skeleton to the chaos yeah. of the NFL. Sure. Yes, you're all going to die from head wounds, but mm -hmm. we're going to control the head wounds. Yeah. You can't just 
uh, you can't do what the XFL right. wants. To, oh, the ball's made of grenades. Well, you or can whatever when they're, they're doing. all slow, fat pieces of shit. Who like, couldn't make it rules. in the NFL? Yeah. yeah, dude, if you took NFL athletes and gave them those rules, like three deaths oh, a week. Oh, God. Yeah. Three deaths a week. But yeah. don't you kind of want to see that a little bit? No. no. I'm, I'm a huge NFL fan, and the day somebody dies on the field, you I'll be the first one you going, go back, all right, man. You go back and look at those plays from the 70s and 80s, the clotheslines and the hits uh, over the middle, and you're like, holy shit, they did need to clean this up. And that's, oh, fuck. That's, that's what I love. <laughs> this is bad. When like, Terrell Owens and, Rand- and, and Randy Moss were out there making their records or whatever, and they were like, are these two guys better than Jerry Rice? No, they're not, because Jerry yeah. Rice, you were allowed to punch him in the dick. Yeah, it was like, running, it was like running down a sidewalk in Chernobyl. <laughs> or fucking, you know, yeah. dodging fucking all kinds of shit. Fucking trying to fucking run and catch a train in Beijing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they needed to fix it up. Because I went back and looked at something like, God damn, how did they not die? Holy fuck. Dude, yeah. <laughs> and they were wearing like like grocery bags on their head. Yeah. Like they okay. weren't even... <laughs> But you, hang on, was it you who I was talking to when they were talking about the leather, the leather heads or whatever? Yeah, I say go back. Guy to the was leather saying, hel- go back to the leather helmets. Th- there's some guy who said that if you took the helmet away, football would be much safer. Yeah. those guys lean in and do those helmet to helmet hits because they know it's not yeah. causing damage. You say that to this you. This is what we'll hang do. On. do oh, hang on, right. no, hang on. I've got a solution to both problems. C- hang on. And rugby? Well, you said it again. No. Watch someone in the NFL lose their helmet accidentally on a play and watch how many people don't give a shit. No, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not the guy who's getting hit. They're saying the guy who delivers the hit. Yeah. They go, they're delivering uh, these brutal fucking hits because they first. know their helmet is, is yeah. brutal. I drive protective. a Volvo. I don't give a shit Here's about your my intersection. solution to both yeah. your problems, Sam. I drive a Mack truck. I'll kill your Volkswagen. Here, here, this, this is the solution to both your problems. We kill all the bicyclists and take their helmets and give them to NFL players. That's it. So you don't have to make any more. We recycle. Dead but they cyclists. play in something more styrofoam. We're recycling cyclists' helmets and give it to football players. Get the fuck out. No, That's sir. Not- I will not. Yeah, I light like candles. I don't curse darkness. Let's, fight. Let's vote. Let's <laughs> Oh, no. fuck. <laughs> oh, that's such a great line to use for anything else what? besides that shitty fucking pun. <laughs> I like candles. I don't curse darkness. Yes. That's fucking great. But it's, you know what the key to comedy is? Fucking timing, <laughs> asshole. I'm telling you. <laughs> was, no. I'm telling you. No, bitch, no. I'm telling you. I, I, I'm a solution, man. You are incorrect. But do you, yeah. do you see the argument I'm saying? The guy <laughs> delivering the hit would yeah, not Yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 that, that I way. get. That I get. He yeah. would not go after you that way if his hell, if his head wasn't protected. So they say those leather neck guys, they tackled each other chest to chest and they wrapped up. Yeah. There was nobody fucking and diving you know, in. Like Archer the, Gold Archers would be you. less brazen yeah. if your hole in front of you was bigger. I yeah. get it. Yeah. That was and that was back in the thirties where there was no gay shit, so you had to, to There play were football. no black people playing. Yeah, yeah, you had to play football to get your gay shit in. So most of the leatherheads were also homosexual. <laughs> That's a little known fact. Well, well, you know, it's easy to have all. Uh, these maybe I do curse the darkness. I don't no, know. <laughs> these no harsh contact rules were great when there were no black guys in the fucking yeah. game. <laughs> right, right. As soon as they drafted Kwame, they were just like, okay, <laughs> hey, uh, maybe. Who is the first? Is- do you know the first black man in the NFL? I do not. Yeah, it um, was uh, Barack Obama. I was going to say Jackie Robinson. Like, yeah. was, he, was he the first Bo Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who the were, first was. Were there Jackie was. Nose commercials? <laughs> Back then, I think they... Bo Diddley still did them, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> banka, 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 banka. Yeah, it was Blind Lemon Jackson, also a blues player, went on into punt for the uh, Philadelphia Dude, Greatnecks. Can y'all give me a second to fucking Google who was the first African-American NFL player? You're not going to type African-American. But you? type black. It's way quicker. Yeah. They, they know what it's gonna, it's Who was gonna... the first black NFL player? <laughs> <laughs> you Kenny Washington. You, Kenny Washington. Of course. Of course. If you'd given me multiple choice, that was like a Mad Lib. That was like a <laughs> that motherfucker owed me twenty dollars. Put these things. I would have gone with a Jefferson or a, a Washington. Yeah. No, I Kenny Washington and a, dude. Close your <laughs> eyes for two seconds. Yeah. And try and imagine any better first black oh, person sure. in the NFL. Yeah, you can't. Name. You can't. Kenny Washington. Yeah. Who did he play for? Washington. Yeah. There's no way he didn't play for the Redskins. I didn't even tell you who he played the for. The Redskins or the fucking Chiefs? It had yeah. to have been someone marginalized. No, it's, something, it's something like the, the Rochester uh, Chipmunks or some <laughs> shit. Like, back when they had nine teams, they were all within eight miles of each other. God damn it. Where the fuck? They, they won't tell me. They won't tell you the team. team's name? Good God. Hey, Google, who did Kenny <laughs> Washington play for? Let's see what happens. Uh, 
Kenny Washington play football and baseball with Jackie yeah, Robinson he with at Jackie UCLA. Robinson. Yeah, that's yeah, Mike. Dude, she knows. But she didn't say what team. He said UCLA. She's she's yeah, uppity I've got some UCLA. nights. I don't see. Any she's super uppity. Here. And some nights, Rob, I ask her questions, but she's not in the mood. And if you guys <laughs> are in a relationship, the LA Rams. You, ah. <laughs> the 1945 champions, newly relocated from Cleveland, were required. They were required. You to said side you said the LA Rams. I was like, there wasn't a black person in the NFL till last yeah. year. <laughs> 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 that seems wrong. Yeah. Well, good for Kenny so, Washington. So, so L.A. had the first black football player. New York had the first black baseball player. Hey, there you go. That's great. Brooklyn, yeah. Texas, so, Texas was like, yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we did have the all. Uh, yeah, I find it interesting. They're running out of sports, inspirational racial sports stories. Like a few years ago, they had that forty-two. Uh, well, no, they had the one about the first. All black college team to to play in the NCAA championship. They stretch a little bit yeah, now. Like, They're like, okay, that, all right, I get it. That's his, but it's the first all black team. I mean, yeah, it's like this week on thirty on thirty. Uh, this guy was yeah. the first person to walk with four balls, having two strikes you know in what? the seventh inning of a show, show me the bottom first, half show of show me a, the first Jewish punter, and I'll listen. I don't know. Like, are there any Chinese guys in the NFL? No. I never saw the movie, but there was one of those like farce movies, like scary movie or whatever, and it was making fun of all the sports movies. Yeah. And it was about this the, the, the first black team to fucking go play or whatever. And they showed the coach in the fucking uh, locker room giving the pecs. So he goes, they're white. You're black. Yeah. And he had ah. he had the chalkboard behind him and it was just all the dots of them that was scribbled in and then just these circles that were white for the other players. He goes, All you have to do is go out and be black. And the coach was Terrence Howard. And he was like, They are white. <laughs> What's you, the game plan, folks? The game plan is you're black. <laughs> We're not playing chess. Was that on, what was that on? Was that on movie, that one movie 42, it, was it? Yes, it is movie 42. Dude, it's yeah. brilliant. And I, I was like, I've seen that. I've sure. not seen the movie, but I saw the commercial and I was like, I need to see this movie. And I never did. Uh, <laughs> they're black. You're white. I don't know how to explain this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're black. They're white. Fuck. More whiskey. That was. All right. We'll do one more shot. Uh, Rob, do we have anything important going on at the end of this month? Uh, fuck it. It's August. I don't know. All right, you know yeah. I'm probably in Canada with you. The, this Christmas, is, the Christmas um, show's coming up. This is actually it, Labor Day today. Yeah. Oh, uh, The Christmas show's coming up. We haven't picked it. Sam's four more shots. I am currently, I think I just finished a week. Oh, or, we're at Labor Day. I'm in Minnesota right now. I'm in Ottawa. Hi, Minnesota. How we'll are you? I'm, I'm there right now. Uh, do us a favor. You can be part of what we're doing on Patreon right now. You could be a member of any tier. This sounds like NPR, and it will for just a minute more. For a dollar, you get nothing but our eternal gratitude. For five, you get access to the Instagram or page. The enjoyable type of humor and but if you go programming all the way up a little bit. On the whiskey I'm going to turn, I'm turn Diane Ream off. Uh, just a dollar. For $25, you get a lot of things. You get access to all of, all of the live feeds. You get access to the entire back catalog. And you help us pay for more whiskey down the line. So we love you guys. Yeah, uh, flew through this one. Hello to Ophelia. You're fantastic. Um, the rest of you, join us on our Patreon. Join us on our Instagram. Join us on everything we are currently doing. <laughs> Slancha to all of you. This glass of whiskey... Uh, Represents the end of this Call episode. Us. Oh, you have a, what's the drunk doll hotline? 323 510 shot or pint or shot or shot or shot pint. 323 510 shot. Um, 7468. I really, I really wish I could say that if you call and leave something, we won't make fun of you. But you know what the fuck's going to happen. We'll get to it. Uh, that is the phone number. You have our email address. You have our website. You have our Instagram. You have our Twitter. You have every means of getting a hold of us that you could possibly need. iTunes, Amazon comments. Uh, we have a special on Amazon. You can buy it off the website. We'll send it to you signed by Until all Until all four. the dragons are dead. Go buy it on Amazon. Fuck out of here. We're your Whiskey Brothers. We love you. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.